This is Dr. Bennett with the Empowered Living Institute, and you're on day 29 of 30 Ways in 30 Days. Day 29 is about limiting your EMF exposure, electromagnetic frequencies. As you can see in the video, there's a Wi-Fi router, which is common in most homes, businesses, and apartment buildings today. An easy way to limit your EMF exposure is to buy a simple timer at the local hardware store and set it during your sleep hours to turn the Wi-Fi off. As you can see, my house, the Wi-Fi goes off at 11 p.m. and comes back on at 5.30 a.m. During that time when we're all sleeping, we're not exposed to electromagnetic frequencies. Another key item with a Wi-Fi router is to keep it as far away from children's rooms or children's play areas as possible. EMF waves are particularly harmful to children. In fact, in France, Wi-Fi routers are not allowed in daycares by law. There are some other ways you can limit EMF exposure. One of the easier ways is to move your furniture away from the walls at least three inches because even the electrical wiring in your walls emits EMFs. As you can see this is an iPhone. If you go into general under settings and then go into about and then press on legal you get this screen which shows you RF exposure. You press that and you come up with a list of what you shouldn't shouldn't do with your cell phone including this phrase to reduce exposure to RF energy use a hands-free option such as the speakerphone now even Apple is telling you not to put this close to your head so be especially aware of your children using an iPhone or any other phone for that matter cell phone by putting it on speakerphone if they're going to talk keep it away from their heads keep them away from that EMF exposure so close. Another thing you can do is simply take your iPhone and don't put it in a pocket or anywhere near your reproductive organs. You want to keep the delicate tissue away from EMF exposure. I see a lot of times people putting them into their pockets or into their shirt pockets or into their shirts which is not good. Put it in your jacket pocket, carry it on your belt, but keep it away from delicate tissue. Keep it away from reproductive organs. An easy way to limit your EMF exposure would be to go back to a wired phone. Might not be as convenient, but definitely limiting your EMF exposure. And another way to limit your EMF exposure is to just simply practice awareness, such as how much you're using your cell phone, how close you're sitting to the router, how much time you spent surrounded by EMF. Like your laptop, don't put it on your lap, place it on a desk. Don't let your kids play games on your cell phone, put them into airplane mode, then allow them to play games. This limits their EMF exposure. This is Dr. Bennett, with the Empowered Living Institute, have an empowering day.